All right, so you're thinking of buying a uh, pre-sale or pre-construction condo and um, not really sure where to go. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the difference between high rise, wood frame, and which one, in my opinion, is the better investment. So stick around if you wanna see that. I'm Matt A.J. Kelly. I talk about Canadian real estate in my local market of Abbotsford in the Fraser Valley. And hey, if you guys like this content, please subscribe to my channel so I can get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm sick and tired of not being at 1,000 subscribers. Man, it's a lot of work. Like three videos a week for like nine months now. I'm at like 500 something subs. So I don't know, help me out if you care to. Like this video and if you wanna chat one-on-one, -on -one, you can do so by scrolling down into the uh, description there, clicking the link that I provided and you can book yourself right into my calendar. All right, gonna get right into it. So here are the pros for high-rise pre-sale condos. So it's likely gonna be built by a well-known developer with a lengthy track record. That's just the way it is. I believe when, they, when the city actually approves plans to build, they wanna make sure that you are going to be able to build it and build it well. So for the most part, high-rises do come with developers that have somewhat of a decent track record. The second thing is that it's likely going to be located in a, well, it would have to be located in a high-density, a uh, decent up and coming area with lots of walkable amenities. It's likely going to have a three to five year long estimated completion date, which is exactly what you want when you're buying a pre-sale because the longer the completion date, the higher the probability the market is going to be up from when you uh, purchase that unit, which means the higher probability that you are going to be able to assign that unit before you actually have to complete on it, which is the highest R uh, ROI scenario in buy and hold investing. For real estate. And lastly, concrete is obviously a better product, right? You get a choice of a higher floor, there's more windows, which is more natural light in the building, and the windows are much bigger, and uh, what else do I have here? Um, uh, they have more amenities within the project itself, et cetera, et cetera. So to most people, high rise seems like the slam dunk option for an investment pre-construction condo. It's a better product, it's a better location, it's, uh, you know, most of the time a better developer, uh, but uh, let's get into the wood frame side of things now. So low rise, you're typically gonna get a 10 to 15% deposit structure, whereas high rise for the most part, sometimes you see them at about 15%, more commonly, I see them around 20%, and sometimes as high as a 25% deposit in Vancouver and even Burnaby for more of the higher end stuff. You're usually looking at a two year long completion for a wood frame pre-construction, uh, give or take six months, but it can be three or four years just depending on how big the project is and if it's a master plan community. A good example of this would be High Street in Abbotsford. Those condos have a three year long completion because it is a master plan community, there's townhomes, there's condos, there's a lot of roads to work on, there's a lot of stuff going on there. It's not just, you know, a wood frame, four story wood frame structure on a lot somewhere. Wood frame condos can, you know, pretty much be located just about anywhere. They don't have to be in the high density areas with lots of walkable amenities for the most part. And they usually have a wide variety of developers on these projects. You know, people all the way from doing their very first, you know, build, uh, maybe not their first build, maybe they've built, you know, a couple single family homes or something like that. So, you know, developers without a track record in, in building mid-rise condos, um, all the way to developers who only build, you know, low rise condos or sorry, low rise condos. And that's all they do. And they build several of them every year. So it just depends. And wood frame is obviously the less superior product. It's only four to six stories. There's not as many windows. The windows aren't as big and the structure itself will depreciate faster than concrete because as we know, the land appreciates, but the structure that's located on the land depreciates and wood frame will depreciate a little bit faster than a concrete unit. So those are basically the key differences between the two, but I'm going to explain to you guys why I actually prefer, believe it or not, wood frame uh, pre-sale or pre-construction condos. So number one, we have the deposit. So as I was saying, deposits for wood frame condos are typically 10 to 15%, whereas high rise are 15 to 25%. And you're gonna want the lowest 
deposit possible. And the reason being is like I said, when you go to assign that unit, if you can, and if that scenario arises, which is the ideal scenario in a presale, your ROI is gonna be a lot higher because you're putting down less money. Like if I put down 20% and flip the unit, I'm gonna get half as big of a return as if I only put down 10%. Secondly, it's a lot easier to sell that pre-sale condo or assign it when the deposit's lower because you pass that deposit on to the next buyer. Not exactly, but if you put down 20%, you don't wanna be asking 10 from the next buyer because that puts you in a massive risk if this buyer doesn't complete on their obligations to fulfill that contract. Because in an assignment, when you assign it to a new buyer, if they don't complete, the onus to complete goes back to you. And if you only took half their deposit, now you're in big trouble because if you don't complete, you're still losing half your deposit to the developer. So if you have a 10% deposit, it's a lot easier to ask the new buyer for only a 10% deposit as opposed to asking for 20%. And number two, if you can't assign this unit because the market doesn't go up or you know uh, whatever arrangement of things transpire and you can't flip this unit before completion and you actually have to complete on it, well, the cash flow numbers on wood frame is going to be a lot better for a few reasons. Number one, and to use Surrey Central as an example, a two bedroom in a high rise pre-sale right now might be trading at 1,050 per square feet, where in the low rise wood frame condo, it might be only 875 per square foot or possibly even as low as 850 per square foot. So you're paying 20% less for the wood frame. And here's the thing, when you go to rent out these units, the rent is probably going to be exactly the same, but if not exactly the same, very similar. So you're not making up that difference that you pay for the high rise unit uh, in the rental that you receive for owning that high rise unit. And the second part of this cost is the fact that the strata fee is like 30% higher on high rise units. So a typical strata fee for a wood frame might be 38 to 45 cents per square foot whereas the high rise unit might ask for 60 cents to 68 cents per square foot. Um, I've even seen higher into the 70s before. So not only are you paying 20% more for the unit and not getting extra rent for that, but you're also paying 30% more for the maintenance fees. And the reason why that is is because high rise units come with a lot more uh, amenities that need to be maintained. And there's also, you know, 10 times more windows that need to be cleaned and they're a lot higher and a lot harder to get to. So your cash flow is gonna look a lot better on a wood frame condo if you have to complete on it. And number three, the floor plans on high rise condos kind of suck for the most part, if I'm being completely honest. Yes, they have big, beautiful windows and offer lots of natural light, but the bedrooms are often really small to the point where you're even questioning if you can put a queen bed in there. And on top of that, they um, usually have weird floor plans too. Like they're, a lot of the times they're not just a perfect square or a perfect rectangle. They'll be these weird kind of tetrisy floor plans or like an L-shaped floor plan. Like there's a building here in Abbotsford. It's a beautiful building. Like it's, um, and it's, they did a really good job. Like it's a beautiful building. I wouldn't mind living in, but a lot of the floor plans are L-shaped in that building. And you typically just want a perfect square for the most part. And to add to all of this for the most part and what I'm seeing right now is pre-sale or pre-construction concrete units right now are selling at a ridiculous premium to what a couple year old unit that's concrete might be selling for on the resale side. Literally 20% higher sometimes. Like usually, you know, pre-sale in general does trade at a premium to you know, the same product in resale, like a wood frame presale might trade 5% higher than the same thing on the resale side. But in concrete right now, I'm seeing like a 15% gap. Like you are, in my opinion, overpaying 15% for that pre-construction high rise unit right now where I can find you wood frame at basically resale value right now at a lower deposit. The assignment fee is probably gonna be cheaper. And just overall, in my opinion, I think the valuation is a lot more justified in wood frame right now. Now, I don't know if concrete is always this way, probably not, but currently right now, I'm seeing concrete trading at a pretty big premium to what you can buy on the resale market. And that's not the case with wood frame. Now, there is a little bit more risk with wood frame, because as I was saying, there's a lot of developers out there that maybe aren't the most reputable in the wood frame 
game, but obviously that's why you do your research on the developer and make sure that they know what they're doing and they're going to deliver what was promised to you. And lastly, as I was saying before, wood frame does depreciate more than concrete, but this is why I say if you're buying a condo, make it a six to eight year hold, right? So, you know, for the most part, that wood frame structure isn't going to depreciate very much in that six to eight years. And especially when you're buying it with a two year long completion, because it's technically only four to six years old by the time you go to sell it. Now, if you're going to buy a condo that's 15 years old, it might be better to buy high rise, even though the strata fees are higher, even though you're paying a little bit more for it, but you know that high rise lasts forever. And from that point onwards, it still should be somewhat easy to sell 10 years down the road where a condo that's 30 years or 40 years old might be a lot more difficult to sell than a 30 year old high rise unit. So that's my opinion on that. If you're looking to pick up pre-sale or pre-construction, whatever terminology you want to use condo, that's what I specialize in. That's what I do. Would love to be the guy to help you with that. And again, if you enjoy this content, please subscribe so I can hit a thousand subscribers. Like this video. If you want to chat one-on-one, -on -one, you can do so by booking yourself into my calendar. I'm that Agent Kelly and I'm making moves to move you. Peace.